journey. Pepper and her family are having breakfast. Oh. What's the matter, Daddy Pig? I need to go on a long journey for work. Can we come too? It's work, Pepper, and it's a long, long way by train. Choo-choo! <laughs> Please, can we go? It won't be fun. I'm testing concrete. I need to know the relative density to mass to calculate for voids in the aggregate. I need to know that too. Uh, what does Mummy Pig think? I think it sounds lovely. But it's hundreds of miles away in another country. Please, Daddy Pig. All right. We can all go. Hooray! This is the train station. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is the train driver. All aboard! <laughs> Full steam ahead! Are we nearly there yet? No, Pepper. It's a long journey, so you'll just have to be patient. <sighs> Why not sing a song to pass the time? OK. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack, the train runs on the track. Huff and puff, huff and puff, clickety-clickety-clack. I've sung a song. Now are we nearly there? Oh, oh, there's still a long way to go, Pepper. We won't get there until tomorrow morning. But what about bedtime? Where will we sleep? Right here. But this isn't a bedroom, Daddy. Watch this. <laughs> Magic beds! <laughs> and here's where we brush our teeth. A magic bathroom. There's a little basin with little taps. And that's not all. A magic toilet. I wonder what this button is for. Ah. <laughs> Daddy has found the magic shower. <laughs> Hello. Passports, please. Of course. Ah, you are Mr. Pig. We, Mr. Pig. You must be coming to test our concrete. Uh, yes. Do you know me? Oh, your work in concrete is famous in our country. Oh, but I have disturbed you. Good night. Uh, good night. It is bedtime. <sighs> night, night, Pepper and George. Night, night, my little piggies. Night, night. Pepper and George are tucked up in their little beds on the train. Clickety clack, clickety clack, the train runs on the track. Huff and puff, huff and puff, ba da 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 da. Boop, boop. It is morning and time for breakfast on the train. Good morning. Miss Rabbit, aren't you meant to be driving the train? It's fine. The train runs on rails, it can't get lost. Would you like coffee or orange juice? I'd like both, please. No, coffee or orange juice. You can't have both. I don't think we have to be so strict with the famous Mr. Pig. Coffee and orange juice. Thank you. Excuse me, I am King Alfonso. Could I have a coffee and orange juice too? No, that is impossible. Pepper and her family have arrived at the end of their long train journey. We are honored to have your visit, Mr. Pig. Thank you. Here is the concrete for you to test. Daddy Pig is an expert at concrete. Hmm. Very good. Hooray! I hope the train journey wasn't too long and tiring. No, it was lovely. What do we do now? My job is done. So we can take the train back home. Oh, goody. We get to sleep on the train again. <laughs> Peppa loves long train journeys. Everyone loves long train journeys. <laughs> little cars. Today, Peppa and her friends have come to the Little Cars Play Centre. Miss Rabbit is in charge. Welcome to the Little Cars Play Centre. We've got little roads, mini traffic lights, and even a tiny roundabout. Ooh. And best of all, you get to drive these little mm. toy cars. Can I drive the blue car? Of course, Peppa. Ooh. Just pedal with your feet 
to make the car go. OK. Turn the wheel to steer <laughs> and beat the horn. <laughs> Good beeping. Remember, today is all about having fun. <laughs> I'm going to drive the racing car. <laughs> I won the rocket car. <laughs> Mandy Mouse's car works by electricity. I like this car. I am driving the carrot car. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Happy children enjoying themselves. Which way do we go? Any way you like. It is Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Hello, hello, hello. 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 What's going on here, then? We heard beeping of horns. Is there a big traffic problem? No, it's just the children having fun. What's that? Fun, you say? Yes, this is the little car play centre. We like beeping. Stop! You're going all over the place. You're not driving like responsible adults. But we are little children. You are still in charge of vehicles. What we need here are some rules of the road. Please follow us. <laughs> here we are, happily driving our cars. You see? No need to beep. <laughs> We've arrived at a pedestrian crossing and an old lady is waiting to cross. What old lady? Miss Rabbit, would you mind pretending to be an old lady? Oh, of course. No problem. I'm an old lady. You see, children, old ladies walk slowly. What do you think we should do? Beep the horn to make her go quick. <laughs> no, no, no. We have to be patient and let her cross in her own time. Yes, I'm an old lady. I can't go faster than this. Mind you, this one's taking forever. Perhaps I should let her know we're waiting. Police! Yeah! Move off the road! Good. Now the road is clear, we can move on. <laughs> Oh, here's a traffic light and it's red. What does that mean? Stop. Correct. When can we go? When the light is green. Very good. When the light turns green, we can go. Now, children, this is a roundabout. Who knows what we do here? Drive around it. That's right. So I want you to all go the same way. <laughs> yes, uh, that was interesting. And uh, <laughs> I think that's as good a point as any to stop for today. The children have all done brilliantly. Say thank you to the police for today's lesson. Thank you. You're very welcome. And I hope you've learnt at least one thing about beeping your horns. Um, don't beep the horn all the time. That's right. Don't beep the horn all the time. Hello. We're here. The parents have arrived to collect the children. Peppa, have you had a nice time? Yes, Daddy. It's been great. <laughs> Peppa loves little cars. Everyone loves little cars. <laughs> Skateboarding. Today, Peppa, George, Mummy and Daddy Pig are at the park. Peppa has her scooter. <laughs> George has his tricycle. <laughs> Mummy Pig has her bicycle. And Daddy Pig has his skateboard. <laughs> Have a go on your skateboard. Skateboarding is quite difficult, even for a grown-up like me. Yes, you don't have anything to hold on to. Please, can I have a go? Well, maybe Daddy could give you a lesson. Yes, I think you're just old enough to learn. Yippee! It's best to start off slowly, like this. Daddy Pig is good at skateboarding. Now it's your turn, Peppa. Put one foot on the board and push with the other. 
<laughs> well done, Pepper. And now try it with both feet on the board. Look at me! Whoa! Well done! <laughs> I can skateboard! It is Belinda Bear and Simon Squirrel. They are big children. Hey, Pepper! Yo! Hello! Is that your skateboard? It's my daddy's. Can you skate on it? Yes! My daddy taught me. He's the best skateboarder in the world. Well, I suppose I am a bit of an expert at it. Really? So, what do you make of these ramps? Oh. <laughs> wow! Amazing! Simon and Belinda are very good at skateboarding. Peppa, would you like to try? Yes, but I can't skate like you. Hmm, but only because we're older than you. Yes, we're almost grown up. I'm nearly ten. Wow! Maybe you big children could give Pepper a lesson. Yes, please. OK, we'll teach you. As long as you keep it slow and safe. Of course, we'll keep it real cool. Let's go down this little ramp. I'm here to catch you, Pepper. OK, Daddy. I'm here to catch you too. <laughs> George is helping as well. <laughs> now, Pepper. Put both feet on the board. Yes, I've done that before. And we'll give you a little push. Um, it looks high. I'll take you a bit lower. Ready now? It's still quite high. How about here? OK. Wow! I did it! I did it! Well done, Peppa. Yes, you did brilliantly. <laughs> I'm going to do it again. Watch this! Oof! Are you all right? Yes, I think so. She's fine. When you're learning to skateboard, there's lots of falling off. Yes, that's why helmets are ace. Wow! That's so good! Can you do that, Daddy? Um... I expect I could if I wanted to. Please show us, Mr Pig. Oh, all right. Um, Daddy Pig, are you sure this is a good idea? Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Right, have you ever been on a ramp before? Not as such. Wow, he's gone to the highest ramp. Oh, I hadn't realised quite how high this was. <laughs> Maybe I'll... <laughs> Wow! Look at him go! <laughs> My goodness! That was awesome! Unbelievable! My daddy is the best at skateboarding because he is very old. Thank you, Pepper. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves skateboarding. Everyone loves skateboarding. The electric car. Pepper and George are in their bedroom. Vroom, vroom. Car! George is playing with his toy car. What is it, George? Car, car! Don't worry, George. It isn't broken. It just needs new batteries. There. Hooray! <laughs> Daddy's home! <laughs> <laughs> That's not Daddy. Oh, it is Daddy. Hello. Have we got a new car? No, I'm just trying it out. It looks fun. It's an electric car. It's a car that runs on batteries instead of petrol. Ooh. Just like George's toy car. <laughs> Daddy's got a toy car just like George's. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we go for a drive? Yes, yes please. please. Then let's go. Oh, the car is broken. Does it need new batteries? Oh, yes, of course. We just need to charge up the battery. Look! The battery is charging up. Finished! 
the electric car is fully charged up. Right. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig! Then let's go! Wow! This car is so quiet. Yes, electric cars are quiet until they start talking. What do you mean, talking? Ho, ho! It's time you met Roger. Hey, Roger. Hello, my name is Roger. <gasps> Hello, Roger. Hello, Pepper. <laughs> Roger is very clever. He always knows which way to go and he can park all by himself. Wow! wow. I can even drive by myself. Really? really? Sit back and relax, Daddy Pig. Let me drive. OK, if you say so. Ooh. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I am an expert driver. Whee! It's a magic car! <laughs> Stop! It is Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Hello, hello, hello. What's going on here, then? Driving with no hands, Daddy Pig. I wasn't driving. Yes, you were. No, I wasn't. Well, if you weren't driving, then who was? Car driving itself, was it? Yes, yes it, it was. was. Well, I'd better talk to the car then, hadn't I? Hello, car. Hello. Whoa, what in the wide world was that? He's called Roger and he's very nice. Yes, he can even drive himself. Can you now? Well, to drive on these roads, you need a driving licence. Oh! So, Roger, do you have a driving licence? Oh, of course. Oh, I see. Well, in that case, everything seems to be in order. Bye! Bye. Drive safely! Roger the car is driving safely. Amazing! Roger can do everything. George's car can sing. Can you sing, Roger? Yes, I can sing. Car, car, electric car, travelling near and travelling far, knows exactly where you are. Knows exactly where you are. Oh, where are we? We are now arriving home. Hooray! <laughs> Roger. At your service. Will you be all right outside in the night? Oh, yes. I'm used to it. OK, Roger. Sleep well. Thank you, Peppa. You too. Peppa loves Roger. Everybody loves Roger the electric car. The carnival. Peppa and her family have come to watch the carnival. Hello. Here are Susie Sheep and Molly Mole. Hello. Have you come to watch the carnival? Yes, I can't wait. It's going to be amazing. With fire-breathing dragons. And magic people flying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, let's hope it really is that great. What's that? Is it starting? No, that's just someone sweeping the road before the carnival comes. Oh, it actually sounds quite good. They're using brushes and dustbins to make music. <laughs> the carnival has begun. Here is Mr. Bull and his fancy jazz band. It is Mr. Pony, the optician. Hello. Look, Pedro's on the lorry. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Pedro. <laughs> I wish I was in the carnival. Me too. It is Captain Dog and Danny Dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look! It's Miss Rabbit's rescue service. But where's Miss Rabbit? Miss Rabbit is the carnival queen. Ooh. She's not doing much, is she? Well, that makes a change from all the jobs Miss Rabbit normally does. She's probably quite happy to put her feet up. <laughs> <laughs> Here is Mr. Potato. Please welcome your friend and mine, Mr. Potato! Mr. Potato has a big balloon tied to the back of his car. Wow! wow. That must be the biggest balloon in the world. Up 
down, up, down, all together now. Mr. Potato is coming to town. <gasps> oh, no. The string has come loose. Ah, my balloon! <laughs> it's okay. I've caught it. Oh, I'm flying away. Help! We have to call the rescue service. <laughs> Rescue service. Mr. Potato's hanging from a balloon. Help! Help! I'll be right there. Wait a moment. I can't go and rescue with all this on. Who wants to be Carnival Queen while I do some rescuing? Me! 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 me. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I think I should be the queen because I am very good at being bossy. I can be bossy too. I should be the queen because I am the best at waving. <laughs> Why don't you all take it in turns to be queen? OK, I'll wear the crown. I'll sit on the throne. And I'll wear the cloak. <laughs> help! Help! Miss Rabbit is going to rescue Mr Potato. I'll just fly up from underneath. Ah, watch out! Oh, sorry, Mr Potato. Hang on, I'll go above. Miss Rabbit, what is your plan? I never have a plan. I just make it up as I go along. Autopilot on. Have a nice day. Autopilots fly helicopters on their own. Bye. Goodbye. Now, how can we get this balloon down? Shall I pop it? <gasps> no, don't pop the balloon. Oh, OK. I'll untie the knot. Miss Rabbit is going to let the air out of the balloon. Wait, wait! <laughs> Miss Rabbit has rescued Mr. Potato. Thank you! Hooray! Now I can get back to being the Carnival Queen. Oh, oh, I think we've got three Carnival Queens now. <laughs> this is the best Carnival Peppa loves carnivals. Everybody loves carnivals. Parking ticket. Peppa and George are playing in their bedroom. They have made a bit of a mess. My goodness, what a mess. Oh, sometimes, Peppa, you could do a tiny bit of tidying up. Then we wouldn't ever have to tell you off. Hmm, why do children get told off? Grown-ups don't get told off. Ho, oh, oh, ho, That's one of the very few good things about being a grown-up. There. Lovely and tidy. Right. I'm off to the shops. Can George and me come too? OK. <laughs> but I don't think you'll like this particular shopping trip. Daddy, what are you going to buy at the shops? I'm buying a bag of concrete. Daddy Pig likes concrete. Ugh, not the concrete shop again. I'll be as quick as I can. This is the concrete shop. What does that sign mean, Daddy? It means you shouldn't park here. So why are you parked here? It's all right, because I won't be long. Hello, Daddy Pig. Have you come to do some shopping? Just buying a bag of concrete. It's so boring. Peppa. Why don't you and George wait here and help me do my job? Thank you, Miss Rabbit. I won't be long. No problem. What job are you doing today, Miss Rabbit? I'm a traffic warden. Ooh. Ooh. What does a traffic warden do? I look for cars parked where they shouldn't be. When I find one, I give it a parking ticket. Like this. Ooh. There. One bag of concrete. Say cheese. Cheese. See you later. Bye-bye. Oh, what's this? It's a parking ticket. Ah. Oh. Daddy, is a parking ticket like being told off? Uh, yes, Peppa. It's like being told off. Mummy, Mummy, Daddy got a ticket. That's nice. What did he get a ticket for? The cinema or the circus or... I got a parking ticket. Oh, well, hopefully it was just a mistake. Oh, yes. Maybe it was meant for someone else. 
delivery for Daddy Pig. Thank you, Mr Zebra. Look! It's a picture of me, George and Daddy in our car. Yes, next to a no parking sign. It says I have to have a lesson to learn how to park. Daddy has to go to school. <laughs> it is Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Hello, 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 Mr Pig. Uh, can I help you? Yes, it's about the parking ticket. It's just routine, nothing to worry about. You're not planning on leaving the country, are you? No. Are you ready for your parking lesson? Yes. Marvellous. Follow me. This is a no parking sign. It is important to look out for signs on the public highway. That's right. Police Officer Panda will now show you how to park. Here is somewhere you can park. There is no sign here. Here is somewhere you should not park. There is a no parking sign. And that is the end of the parking lesson. That's all very clear. Thank you, Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Just doing our job. Hello, Police Officer Panda. Oh, hello, Miss Rabbit. Say cheese. What? A parking ticket? But that's outrageous. I was only parked for a moment. This sign was clearly visible. And you were parked in front of it. Ho, ho, you're right. It just goes to show that nobody is above the law. <laughs> and even grown-ups get told off. <laughs> <laughs> Flying on holiday. Pepper and George are going on holiday. They are packing their bags. You can't pack everything. But we need to take all our toys, Daddy. <laughs> Just take the important ones. OK. I'll take Teddy and George can take... Dinosaur. <laughs> Mummy Pig is packing a big bag for the holiday. Wow, that's a lot of stuff, Mummy Pig. Are you sure we need it all? Yes, it's all very important. OK. It is Susie Sheep. Hello, Peppa. Do you want to play? I can't play today, Susie. I'm going on holiday. Oh, where are you going? I don't know. Somewhere where there's holidays. <laughs> that sounds nice. <laughs> Granny and Grandpa, why are you here? We're here for Goldie the fish. We're looking after her while you're on holiday. Here's Goldie. Don't feed her too much, Granny. OK, Peppa. <coughs> it is Mr Bull in his taxi. He is taking Peppa and her family to the airport. <gasps> Hello, Daddy Pig. Let me take that bag for you. <coughs> Whoa! <coughs> That's heavy. Are you sure you need everything in here? Yes, it's all very important. Bye! Bye! Bye-bye! Bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. This is the airport. Goodbye! <gasps> Have a lovely holiday. Tickets, please. Here they are. Any bags? Yes. I'm afraid this one's a bit heavy. Don't worry. Just pop it on the scales. <laughs> Anything valuable in it? No. Any more? Yes. <laughs> you can take those little bags on the plane with you. Just join the queue over there. This is the X-ray machine. What's this, Daddy? It's a machine that looks inside things. Ooh! Put your bags on here, please. Look, it's my bag with Teddy inside. Dinosaur. <laughs> That's magic. This is the aeroplane that will take Pepper and her family on holiday. Airplane! Yeah! 
George loves aeroplanes. Welcome aboard. We hope you enjoy your flight with us today. Can I sit next to the window? <laughs> of course, Pepper. <laughs> yes, George, you can sit next to a window too. <laughs> This is Captain Emergency speaking. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Captain, Captain Emergency. Emergency! Then let's go! <laughs> Look, Teddy, they're flying. What can you see out of the window, Peppa? It's all cloudy and rainy. That's because we're on top of the clouds. The plane is flying higher and higher. Oh, are we flying up to the sun? No, but we are going somewhere sunny. The camper van. Peppa and George are very excited today. They are going on a holiday. Oh, where's Daddy? He's bringing a secret surprise. <laughs> What's that? It's a camper van. We've borrowed it for our holiday. Ooh. This camper van has everything. This button works the sink. Wow! And this button works the TV. <laughs> what does this button do? I'm not sure. Maybe don't press it until we know. Is everybody ready to go on holiday? Yes, yes Mummy Pig! Then let's go! <laughs> We're going on holiday in a camper van. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, this map is a bit tricky. Daddy, we don't want to get lost. Don't worry, Peppa. I'm an expert at map reading. Oh, that's strange. Are we lost? Uh, yes. It's Grandad Dog with Danny Dog. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Danny. We're lost. Lost? Is your sat-nav broken? Sat-nav? You're driving a camper van T3200. Sat-nav comes as standard. Welcome to the car of the future. Ah. So that's what that button does. Where are we going today? The camper van is talking. Clever, isn't it? The computer voice helps you find your way. But how does it know where we want to go? You tell it. Uh, hello, Mrs. Camper Van. Hello. We're going on holiday. Can you tell us the way? Proceed on the current road in a straight line. Thanks for your help, Grandad Dog. You're welcome. Have a lovely holiday. We're going on holiday in a camper van. <laughs> danger, danger. Oil is low. What's oil? Oil helps engines to run smoothly. Will the oil run out? No. These warnings always give you plenty of time. Oil is gone. Oh, dear. Luckily, I've got a spare can of oil. Well done, Daddy Pig. We simply pour the oil into the engine and... Oh. What's wrong? There's nothing in here. The engine's gone. It's Mummy Sheep with Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. We've lost our engine. Lost your engine? Yes. It's completely disappeared. I'd like to help, but I don't know a thing about engines. I'm probably just being silly, but this looks a bit like an engine. Ah, yes. Well spotted, Mummy Sheep. The camper van has its engine at the back. There. That should be enough oil. Thank you, Mummy Sheep. You're welcome. Have a lovely holiday. Are we nearly there yet? Just up the next hill. You have reached your destination. Hooray! Hooray! 
Time for bed. Where will we sleep? Mummy Pig and I will sleep on this bed. Ooh. And you two will sleep upstairs. But there isn't an upstairs. Ho, oh, oh. ho. Watch this. The camper van's roof is lifting up. The camper van is just like our little house. <laughs> While we're on holiday, it is our little house. <laughs> Good night, my little piggies. Good night. Grumpy Rabbit's hovercraft. Grandpa Pig is taking Pepper and George out for the day on his sailing boat. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Hello. Hello, old bean. Grandpa, that man just called you an old bean. Yes, Pepper. It's another way of saying old friend. Are they your friends, Grandpa? Oh, not really. We're just members of the same sailing club. Now, where did I leave my boat? What does your boat look like, Grandpa? It has a little red flag on top of the mast. Like that little flag? Ah, yes. Oh, dear. Grandpa Pig's sailing boat has sunk. I'm afraid we can't go sailing today, children. Oh. Here is Grampy Rabbit on his hovercraft. <laughs> what is that monstrosity? Is it a little sailing club? Hello! What a marvellous day for sailing! Hello, Grampy Rabbit. Pepper, you look sad. What's the matter? We can't go sailing because our boat has sunk. Oh, dear. Why don't you hop onto my hovercraft? Hooray! I really don't think this is quite... Hold on to your hat! Ah! 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 Grampy Rabbit's hovercraft can go on land and water. I built it myself! You'd never guess, would you? <laughs> We don't need that boat. You can't drive this thing around here. You're not a member of the sailing club. Well, you're a member, aren't you? Yes, but... That's all right, then. <laughs> ah, nothing like a peaceful day sailing. The calmness of the water, the quietness of the... Oh, what's that horrible noise? Hello there! Lovely day for a sail! It's that monstrosity again! Is that Grandpa Pig? Uh, hello? <laughs> <laughs> I say, is anybody else thirsty? Me, me! I saw an old shed back there selling juice. That's not an old shed. That's the Sailing Club Cafe. It's for members only. Yes, whatever! Let's go and get some juice. <laughs> Hello there. Uh, four beakers of juice, please. I'm afraid you cannot be served here, sir, unless you're a club member. I'm not, but he is. Uh, hello. Four juices, please. Ah, yes, sir. This is the life, eh? The sea and the sky and the boat sailing by. But the boats are not sailing by, Grampy Rabbit. There's no wind. Without wind, sailing boats can't Help. sail. Help! 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 We need to rescue Help. them, Grampy Rabbit. Good idea, Pepper. Hold on to your socks. <laughs> Ahoy there! Toss me a line and I'll tow you back in. Here we go! Grampy Rabbit's hovercraft is towing the sailing boats back to shore. We're towing the boats to shore, boys. We're towing the boats to shore. We're towing the boats to the car park. Towing the boats to be parked. I brought everyone back to the car park. That way, they don't have so far to walk to their cars. But sailing boats don't go on land like hovercrafts. Oh, yes. <laughs> Grandpa Pig, who is this friend of yours? So sorry about that. Sorry? Am I what? We want to thank him for rescuing us. Oh, I see. He's called Grampy Rabbit. Delighted to meet you, Elbeam. You're very welcome. 
old bean. Three cheers for Grumpy Rabbit. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, 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 hooray! <laughs> the train ride. Today, Peppa and her friends are going on a train ride. <laughs> Mr. Rabbit is the station master. How many tickets? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten child tickets and one teacher ticket, please. Now, children, do not lose these tickets. Can I see your tickets, please? Uh, I've lost my ticket. Oh, dear Pedro, you must be more careful. There's your ticket. <laughs> oh, ho, try not to lose it again. Here comes the train. Choo-choo! Miss Rabbit is the train driver. All aboard! Here are your activity sheets. Ooh. The children have to spot everything that is on the activity sheet. A boat, a signal box, <laughs> and a tunnel. I can see trees. Are trees on the list? Uh, no. I can see clouds. Are clouds on the list? No. I can see Grandad Dog. Ahoy there! Hello, Grandad Dog! Is Grandad Dog on the list? Silly Peppa, my Grandad won't be on the list. But he is sailing a boat. And a boat is on the list. Hooray! The children tick the boat on their activity sheets. <laughs> Tickets, please. Mr Rabbit has come to check everyone's ticket. Uh, I think I've lost my ticket. Oh dear, oh dear. Meow. There's your ticket, Pedro. You were sitting on it. <laughs> now you try not to lose it again, Pedro. The train is going slowly uphill. The train is going quickly downhill. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I feel a bit sick. Can I go to the front, please? OK, Pedro. You can go to the front of the train. <laughs> Dum 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 da di da. Hey. Hello, Pedro. Not feeling very well. Would you like to drive the train for a bit? Yes, please. Flickety <laughs> <laughs> clack, flickety clack, the train was on the track. Half and puff, half and puff, the train was on the track. <laughs> <laughs> That's on our list. Hooray! The children tick the signal box on their activity sheets. The signal has stopped the train so that someone important can cross. It's Mrs Duck and her friends. <laughs> oh, we still haven't seen a tunnel. <gasps> hey, it's gone dark. We're in a tunnel. <laughs> the tunnel is the last thing on the activity sheet. Hooray! <laughs> last stop. Wall change. Everybody off now. But, Madam Gazelle, how are we going to get home? Oh, Peppa, we are back where we started. The train has gone in a big circle. Tickets, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, Pedro's lost his ticket again. Um... Pedro, can I have my hat back, please? There's Pedro's ticket. Oh, that's where I put it. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Rabbit's taxi. Pepper and George are shopping with Mummy Pig. <laughs> That's a lot of shopping. It's for Grandpa Pig. My granny is going away on holiday. Oh, I see. 
That's a lot of shopping. It's everything on Granny Pig's list. Where's the car? I didn't bring the car. I didn't think you'd be buying so much. Oh, I'll call for a taxi. Hello, taxi service. A taxi will be with you shortly. Sorry, I'm just popping out. Back in a mo. Taxi service. Where are you going? Granny and Grandpa Pig's house, please. Righty-ho, hop in. <laughs> I see you've been shopping. Lots of shopping about these days. Shopping for this, shopping for that. Shopping, shopping, Miss shopping. Miss Rabbit, why are you talking so much? It's what taxi drivers do, Pepper. Ah. Mind you, I had Mr Potato in the back of the car the other day. I thought he'd be... Wrong. Granny Pig is going away for a few days. Grandpa Pig will be on his own. This is a tin of food. To get the food out, you will need this. It's a tin opener. I know what it is, Granny Pig. If you want to boil an egg, fill a pan full of water, Yes, then... yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Granny Pig! Hello, my little ones. We've got the shopping. But why are you not at the airport, Granny? Oh, yes. I'd better call a taxi. Taxi service. Hello, Granny Pig. I'd like to go to the airport, please. Of course. Hop in. Thank you. Daddy, can we wave Granny goodbye at the airport? OK. <laughs> bye. Bye, bye. Going to the airport, are you? Yes. And actually, we're in a bit of a hurry. Hurry in here, hurry in there. Why are people always in a hurry? Granny Pig has a plane to catch. She's going on holiday. Holiday? I never have time to go on holiday. I'm too busy being in a hurry. Miss Rabbit, are you talking like a taxi driver again? Yes. The taxi has arrived at the airport. Goodbye, my little ones. Bye-bye, Granny. Bye-bye. Pepper and George are waving Granny Pig goodbye. <laughs> Here is Mr Wolf. Taxi! Hop in. Bye-bye, Mr Wolf. Pepper and George love waving goodbye. <laughs> Daddy, how are we getting home? In the taxi. Oh, it's gone. Been on holiday, have you? I'm actually very tired. Do you mind if we don't talk? Talk? Yes, people talk too much these days, don't they? Talk, 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 talk. And they say some people can talk for hours without taking a breath. My sister can talk. She can... Hello, taxi service. Hello, could you pick us up from the airport, please? The airport? Righty-ho! Stop! Hello, Mr Bull. Are you mending the road? No, I'm supposed to be mending the airport. But my truck's broken down. I'm going to the airport. Hop in. Have you got any luggage? Just the sand. <laughs> Miss Rabbit's taxi is full of sand. Bye, boss! Hello, oh, lads! Here's the sand! Thank you, Miss Rabbit. <coughs> no problem. Take us home, please, Miss Rabbit. Righty-ho! There you are, my last taxi ride of the day. <laughs> now you can go home and have a rest. Ha! I should be so lucky. Sorry to catch you waiting. It's just another busy day for Miss Rabbit. The ambulance! Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today Dr Brown Bear is coming to show us an ambulance. I like ambulances. 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 <laughs> Will the ambulance go? Nina, Nina, Nina. Yes, thank Nina. you, Freddy. I'm sure it will. Here is Dr. Brown Bear. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Brown Bear. Hello, children. Does anybody know what this is called? It's an ambulance. An ambulance? 
And who can tell me what it's for? Taking sick people to the hospital. That's right. Can we hear the Nina Nina sound, please? Yes. <laughs> we normally use that only in a real emergency. Dr. Brownbear, can you show us what you would do in a real emergency? Yes, I'll show you. Using this teddy and this ball. Ooh. One day, Teddy was playing football when, whoopsie, he tripped over the ball. Somebody calls for the ambulance. Freddy, would you mind making the ambulance noise, please? Nina, Nina, <laughs> Nina! First thing I do is see if the person is awake. Are you awake? Yes, Doctor. Do you know your name? My name is Mr. Teddy. Can you tell me what happened, Mr. Teddy? I tripped over a football. That was a bit silly, wasn't it? <laughs> Let's put that football where no one else can trip over it. Now, tell me, Mr. Teddy, which bit hurts? My arm hurts. We just need to bandage that arm up. And because you have been such a brave boy, you get a sticker. And that's how the ambulance works. Wonderful. Children, say thank you to Dr. Brown Bear. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear. You're very welcome. And remember, always look where you're going. Then... Whoops! Oh. Dr. Brown Bear is rolling down the hill. Ow, 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 ow. He rolled through a prickly bush. Ow, ow, ow. He hit a tree. Ow, ow, ow. And apples fell on his head. Oh. oh, my goodness! Call an ambulance! The ambulance is here! Oh, yes! Everyone into the ambulance! <laughs> don't worry, Dr. Brown Bear. We are here to make you better. Uh, thank you, but I don't think I need your help. I am the doctor, remember? Yes, but we must do all the checks. I really don't think this is... Not another word. Children, what do we do first? Check he's awake. Well done, Pepper. Are you awake, Doctor? Yes. Good. He is awake. This is all very nice of you, but Who I... Who knows what to do next? We ask him his name. Yes, but in this case, it's what not... What is your name? Dr. Brown Bear. Now we ask him what happened. You saw what happened. I tripped over that ball and fell down the hill. That was a bit silly now, wasn't it? Which bit is hurting? Every bit is hurting. Where is it hurting most? In my arm and my leg and here on my head. We just need to bandage him up. <laughs> because you have been such a brave doctor, you get a sticker. Oh. Have a sticker! Have a sticker. Have a sticker. Oh. Children, say Thank you to Dr. Brown Bear for giving us such a wonderful demonstration of how the ambulance works. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear. It was my pleasure. <laughs> Dr. Brown Bear loves ambulances. Everybody loves ambulances. Digger World. Pepper and George are visiting Digger World. Digger, digger. <laughs> George likes diggers. I like diggers too. <laughs> and today, you'll both be driving real diggers. Wow! Here is Mr. Potato. Welcome to Digger World, where all your digger dreams come true. <laughs> this is the Sand Digger Ride. Ooh. Pepper and George, jump on board. Mummy and Daddy Pig, you have to pedal. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, fill up this big bucket with sand. <laughs> this is fun! Yes, fun! <laughs> Excellent work, children. Now we flip the bucket over, give it a tap, and voila! Hooray! Pepper and George have made a big sandcastle. Let's 
let's go to the next ride. This is the wall building ride. <laughs> Stack these soft blocks to make a wall. Hurry up, Mummy. Okay, Peppa. <laughs> Oh, I'm going as fast as I can, Peppa. <laughs> Nearly finished. There. A lovely wall. Here comes George with a demolition digger. Meow. <laughs> oh, dear. George has knocked down Peppa's wall. George! You naughty piggy. <laughs> Ho-ho! Building things up, then knocking them down. It's all part of the fun at Digger World. <laughs> this is the grabber machine. How do we play this one? Let's hope it's not pedal powered. Mummy and Daddy Pig do the pedaling. Oh. oh. Pepper and George use the grabber to win a lovely prize. Ooh. There are Mr. Potato dolls or toy dinosaurs to be won. I'm sure. Okay, George, let's get a dinosaur. <laughs> this way, George. <laughs> no, no, that way. Back, forward, down. Okay, <laughs> we've got the dinosaur. Oh. The dinosaur toy is too heavy for the grabber. Oh, try again. The Mr. Potato doll is just the right weight for the grabber. Aren't you lucky? And he's yours to keep. Oh. But the best news is you have earned your digger badges. You are fully qualified digger drivers. Hooray! <laughs> Thank you for visiting Digger World, where all your digger dreams come true. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> I really like Digger World because we get to drive... Stop! It is Mr Bull. What's the matter, Mr Bull? We're building a wall across the road. Digger, Digger, <laughs> Mr Bull, can we drive your Digger? Oh, I'm afraid children can't drive diggers. But we've been to Digger World. We've got badges. Oh, that's OK then. Hop aboard! <laughs> I'll drive the digger and you can have the important job of pushing the buttons. <laughs> OK now, push the button. What? This red one? No, the green one! Ah! The digger has knocked over the new wall. Sorry, Mr Bull. <laughs> Building things up, then knocking them down. It's all part of the fun with diggers. Peppa and George love diggers. Everyone loves diggers. <laughs> the Great Barrier Reef. Peppa is on holiday in Australia at Kylie Kangaroo's house. I love it here at your house, Kylie. Yes, I could stay here forever. It's great having you all stay, but I will have to go to work today. What is your job, Mrs Kangaroo? I'm a marine biologist. What's that? I study sea creatures, like these little fish here. Ooh, a fish tank! But the fish I study don't live in a tank, they live in the sea. Do the fishes in the sea have little bridges to swim through and treasure to play with? <laughs> no, Pepper. That's just the sort of stuff people put in fish tanks. Would you all like to come and see where I work? Yes, please. I've been to where my daddy works. There was a telephone, lots of paper and colouring pens. It was a very nice office. I think you'll find my office is pretty fun too. <laughs> this is my office. Where? There, Peppa. The sea. I've got the best office in the world. But how can you work in the sea? With this submarine. Wow! Do you want a ride? Yes, please. OK, hop in. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
is made of lots and lots of tiny creatures. Ooh! And the coral stretches for miles and miles. We call it the Great Barrier Reef. It's my job to keep the coral safe. Can we take some coral home with us? Sorry, Peppa. We can look, but we mustn't touch. If every visitor took a little bit of coral home... Soon, all the coral would be gone. We must never, never take anything away from here. Ah! Oh, look! Little fish. They're clownfish. Clownfish? <laughs> they do look quite funny. Look over there! A big blue starfish! There's a tiny red one! And a spiky green one! What's that? That's a turtle! Ooh. Hello, Mrs Turtle! How are you today? <laughs> you see how lucky I am to work in such an amazing place, Peppa? <laughs> Look! A little bridge! Just like in your fish tank! Oh, 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 you're right, Peppa! It is quite like the fish tank here. Except there's no treasure chest, of course. <laughs> <laughs> what have you seen, George? It looks like a chest full of gold coins! Wow! wow. George has found a treasure chest. You see, Daddy, everything is the same as the fish tank. Uh, yes. That gold must be worth a fortune. I think I can get it. But you said we must never take anything away. I meant natural things that belong here. That's right. These gold coins don't belong here, so we need to remove them. It will all go to a good cause. Yes, it'll pay for lots more marine research. Hooray! That was a good day at the office. We saw coral and fishes and a turtle. This is a great holiday. I don't want it to ever end. <laughs> but you are going to leave sometime, right? Oh, not that you aren't welcome to stay as long as you like, of course. Thank you, Mrs. Kangaroo. <laughs> this holiday is the best. <laughs> Pepper is having a lovely holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. <laughs>